What does it mean when someone asks for your objective opinion or says you need to be more objective about something? What does that mean, objective? Well, objectivity is what this video is all about, so let's get into the facts. When we talk about the term objectivity, we're referring to a concept of truth that is independent of our perceptions, beliefs, emotions, or imagination. Each of those things are aspects of our individual subjectivity or personal bias, but those things aren't determining factors in establishing what's true for everyone. So when someone asks for your objective opinion, they're asking for your perspective based on the facts rather than your subjective feelings. By the way, if you haven't seen our video on subjectivity, be sure to check that out. There's a link in the description below. Objectivity and subjectivity are terms that relate a perceiving subject, which is normally us as thinking humans, with an object that is either perceived or unperceived. Objects are something that exist independently of our perception of them. Objects, like this Rubik's Cube, exist, even if there are no subjects to perceive them. So for example, the moon still exists even if everyone is asleep and no one is around to see it. Something that is objective is established, unchanging, and true for everyone. When I say that something is objectively established, I mean that thing is agreed upon by everyone and there's no argument about what it is. Whether we're talking about a tree, the moon, an apple, or a building, those things are the same for everyone, and nobody disputes that, all thanks to objectivity. On the other hand, something that is subjective is entirely dependent on personal beliefs, emotions, bias, and perceptions. For example, the sky is blue during the day when there aren't any clouds, and this can be proven to be objectively true. But how a person perceives the color blue is entirely subjective. Imagine you and a coworker glance out a window on your lunch break and notice that it started snowing. Now let's say your coworker starts groaning and complaining about how worried they are about driving home in the snow, while you're excited to get home and build a snowman and have a snowball fight with your kids. The fact that it's snowing outside is an objective experience for both of you, despite how either of you may feel about it based on your own personal experiences. Since objectivity is independent of personal opinions and biases, it's most commonly associated with concepts such as truth, reliability, and reality itself. Now, we each have our own personal dream space, but reality, the realm of space-time, which we call the holos, is where we all inhabit a shared domain of content that we experience via our individual perceptions. So in other words, we each have our own personal world that only we have access to and control when we're sleeping, but reality, again what we call the holos, is like a shared dream that we are all experiencing together. All we're really doing is going from a personal dream when we sleep to a shared dream when we wake. If you've seen some of our other videos, you may already be familiar with this concept, but it can never be overstated or said too often how important it is to recognize that this shared realm is what we're trying to change into an amazing dream, simply by waking up as many minds as possible to the true nature of reality. Did you like this video? If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Show your support, consider leaving a comment below. You can also join our channel for custom perks and emojis and access to monthly supporters only live streams. By the way, our new spring store recently launched, so if you want to get your hands on some cool merch, you can check that out under the store tab on our channel. As always, thank you for supporting our work and thanks for watching.